What's up, everybody? I uh, hope everything is going well so far during the six-week challenge. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about consistency. Um, as you've heard me say a couple of times now, um, six-week challenges, eight-week challenges, challenges in general, transformation endeavors are great for a moment in time, a couple times a year to give yourself a big push, put your head down and focus. Um, but one of the things that you're going to hear us preach all the time is consistency, both with your workouts and with your diet. And it's really all about that 80-20 rule, right? So irrelevant of how much progress you can make in these six weeks, what you can make for progress has to be made in a way that you truly can see yourself staying consistent with those habits beyond these six weeks because if unfortunately at any point in time things start to rebound and come backwards um, of course that weight and any of your results are going to start to go back to where you were before you started this journey as well so that's why we really emphasize during these challenges push push hard and get as much results as you can see but plan for what's going to happen outside of these six weeks plan for how many of those um, changes you can truly self see yourself maintaining. And hopefully we've coached you up in a way that has helped you set goals that were things that you could maintain outside of these six weeks anyway. Um, okay, so again, it, it's all about consistency. It's, it's not a sprint, but it's a marathon. So if you're working out three times a week and you can see results from that, if you can't honestly see yourself being consistent with three times a week of activity for a good portion of your year and your life, then when that consistency falls off, results will start to hinder. Uh, so whatever you set for a goal, don't overachieve immediately, right? Like kind of give yourself some wiggle room to overachieve. So if you think that some weeks you could get three, but you know for sure most weeks you could work out two, then commit to doing a minimum of two. You know you can do that across the board. And then on the weeks that you can get in a third or even a fourth or whatever, um, then you have that wiggle room to overachieve instead of what unfortunately a lot of us do. We think or know that we should be active pretty frequently. So we set a standard to the top. And then there's no wiggle room to ever come back down or, or have ebbs and flows. And there's definitely no wiggle room to ever overachieve because you're already trying to set your standard at the, the pinnacle of what you could possibly do even at the best time in your life. So again, think about what's consistent, what's capable of maintaining consistency throughout, and you'll maintain the change and progress that you see throughout your life, okay? See you guys on the floor.